So Yosh. 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 Um, what else you got going on in the world of news? Uh, well, there was a big report yesterday that Army Hammer was in final negotiations to become the Batman. Not true. Okay. Not true. Boris Kitt, who is wow. a very trusted, yes. uh, so, uh, works for the THRI, said, I don't debunked normally. It. He debunked it immediately. He never goes on Twitter yeah, to do this kind of yeah. stuff. He just drops his scoops and walks off. He's like, I'm not usually doing this, but it needs to be said. Uh, so it is not true. However, Justin Kroll did say that rumor was, and this is over at Variety, was untrue. But stay tuned. So he's working on something. We might get some Batman news this week, but maybe not cast. I don't think Army Hammer is the right guy to put Batman. He, first of all, he already he already he was, was already Batman. He, already, he was he cast. was, but we didn't see yeah, it. And the Wolfgang Peterson uh, one that never hit theaters. Ooh. I just never. I, I think that he's really good in like supporting roles. Although I thought he was great in Call Me by Your Name. He was great mm-hmm. in that. But he was. I've never been a huge fan of his, but I, I have to give credit to where credit is due. You didn't think he was great in that movie? No, no. I'm trying to think of like I'm I'm sorting out my own personal opinion oh. of Army Hammer because, <laughs> like, I, a funny story. I won't name the comic, but there was a comic that uh, that I'm friends with that was on Conan. Uh, when Night the Army Hammer was on Conan. Yeah, we were talking about like you know his set. And it, my my friend said then he's like, yeah, and it was weird because like I walked by Army Hammer and I felt nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like he's like waiting to feel like a movie star is here, and he's like yeah. he never felt anything. I saw Army Hammer at. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, at, at the Toronto Film Festival, yeah. was that some party? Yeah. He was there, and he seemed like a nice, nice guy, like hanging out. He's definitely got an aura about him to yeah. me. And when I actually think about his career, it's like he was in The Lone Ranger, and that's like an all-time bad stink bomb movie. That's yeah. not a good movie. But he was great in Social Network, in mm-hmm. a very tough role. Yeah. He was really good in The Man from Uncle. Mm-hmm. He's great in Call Me by Your Name. That was fine. So all of a sudden, you start thinking, like, could this guy be Bruce Wayne? First of all, he is the richest of the rich in real life. Yeah. So he could play the richest of the rich in I fiction. I just it, this it's a badass version. I don't buy. Th- here's the thing. This news has been. This has been a rumor for so long. Yeah. That Army Hammer's been is Batman rumors go back to like seven years. So if you if you make this announcement, fine. But it's not going to have the intended effect of like. We finally have our Batman. It's like, yeah, it's about time that you announce this guy. So I don't think you get the excitement that you would with, say, like an Oscar Isaac. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. You guys know that DC's my jam. Like, this is, to me, I've been waiting for this announcement for ever since the Ben Affleck issues started happening. Um, I think that Army Hammer is much more of a Superman than he is a Batman. I think that he is doesn't have that grit, that edge that I'm looking for. He's talented. God knows, and he tweets about enough how long he's been waiting for this kind of an opportunity. Like, he's been second in line for so many roles for the last 15 years. Like, it just keeps almost coming for him because he's still not a household name. But I'm sorry, he's just not the right pick for this. And it wouldn't get the excitement as somebody like, and I know that other people weren't as happy about this, but like a Robert Pattinson. Who wasn't happy about that, really? Yeah, a lot of people were not happy about that. He's my first choice, and then Richard Madden's my second. Oh, that would be great, too, actually. Bob Pattinson? Yeah. The thing I like about a Robert Pattinson casting is that, well, first of all, I would like to know what we're doing with this Batman movie. Like, he said younger. Is it in fact, but I, I know it's younger, but is it in fact going to be some sort of prequel? And is there a chance that you do have Ben Affleck as an older Batman, like narrate the story, so. still have him in there? I just want to know what you're doing with that no. because that informs my casting of it. Right. I don't because, think that we're doing that. Yeah. I think that this is a like a separate piece, true right? detective kind of if different separated. If you're doing your own Batman. You're right, Robert Pattinson. Yeah, because people, I think the people who aren't on board for that are just the Twilight haters. Yes. Because and I was like Mike Kalinowski was not on board on yeah. DC Movie News. He like went in on it. He's and never I, seen the other movies. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the thing. Because if I was just coming out of Twilight, mm-hmm. I would probably feel the same way. I've seen him in uh, the Ro- the Rover. The Rover. Mm-hmm. He's great. Which he's great in. Live. Uh, what's the last Good one? Good time. Good time. Good time. He's great. Damsel, which is a shit movie, but he's amazing. And he was in that movie. He's in a, he, Twilight New Moon. Not that one. Um, he's been in a lot of stuff. And the thing is, it's, <laughs> it's smaller movies that a lot of you that are hating on the idea have not seen. That's um, yeah. Harry Potter. I really. I, yeah. He was. That was before Twilight. Yeah. But what I would say is, I'm. I, I would like to ask Kalinowski that too. Has Kalinowski seen those? No, movies? I asked him and he hadn't. Right. But, yeah. but he was like, I'm sorry. It, the unfortunate thing is he will always be this to me. No, he and won't. he was like, and I know that's a me problem, and it is a him problem, but oh my God, he's perfect. Yeah, I felt he's I, perfect. I felt that way too, though. Same thing that Mike said, where it's like he'll he'll always be the Twilight guy. He won't be. He will change your mind in Rover and he will change your mind in good time. Yep. Like that. That's how good of an actor he is. I don't even know that people like identify Kristen Stewart as much with Twilight. 
anymore? No. Because she had a similar thing. She did a bunch of great movies yeah. she, that were outside of Twilight, and yeah. I saw her differently. Yeah, but she doesn't she doesn't change really. She, she doesn't mopes. morph the same she, way. Yeah. She, she does, mopes in everything that she does. Like, there's some other things. So she was really good in that movie with uh, Julia Moore, the one where Julia Moore lost her memory. Yeah, she was, oh. and it was what's called? that called? Alice. Still, still Alice. Alice. Still, still Alice. Alice. Yes. Still Alice. Still Alice. Uh, that movie was great. And mm-hmm. Kristen Kristen Stewart was great in that movie. She really was. But Robert Pattinson is the type of actor like he changes like he's the mm-hmm. character he's that is and uh, like like he's I said a- I could go after somebody and say oh he's a Twilight kid and I did for a long time but I'm gonna give somebody credit when credit is due and that kid Perfect. is a natural actor. It's also she Kristen Stewart uh, stayed in the limelight a lot harder than Robert Pattinson did. He's not in the tablets all the time. He's not like right. his personal life is not out there every single day. So I think it's easier. He's an to, actor, not a celebrity. Yeah, yeah. To remove him from that. Um, yeah, I think I'd like it to be Oscar Isaac, but I think that I, I, I don't know that that Oscar Isaac necessarily wants that for Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> 